Hi guys, Corey Walker, Hilltop RV. We're going to go over the show-through orientation on the Salem 36-foot uh, bunkhouse. This is Corey. He's going to be leading the way. Corey, Hello. take over. Nice to meet you. You got two 30-pound cylinders when you run them. You want them both turned all the way on. And don't crank on the valves really hard or you wreck the valves. On this side right here, the green dot, if it's facing this tank, it's dr the regulator draws off this tank. And then if it shows green in the little eyelet, it means this hill has gas in it. If the eyelet changes red, the regulator automatically starts drawing off this tank because this one's empty. When it shows red, you flip it over to this way, then you take your empty cylinder off, get it filled, and you're not paying for a full, a full 30 to get filled when you're only getting 20 pounds put in it. We got your brand new battery in the box here. It's all hooked up, set to go, fully charged. It'll be fully charged when Jake arrives at your place. Um, they didn't get no hitch or nothing like that. Okay. Your VIN tags right here on this side, on the driver's side front. It's got your weights and your tire specs. You're going to want to set your tires every time before you guys go camping. And you also want to torque your lug nuts again when you get to camp or home. These ones. Torque them to about 115 foot-pounds. Just check to see if they're tight. This is your city water connection. You hook up a hose to this. Um, you want a water pressure regulator here so it doesn't blow any lines off in the camper if the pressure gets too high. Then this way, you, uh, now you got me messed up. Uh, this way you will, uh, oh cool, sorry about that. This way you won't have to use your tank, you'll get your water pressure from the hose that you're using. Um, that's why you want that regulator on there, okay? And then you got some storage here and the locks on all the storage compartments are going to be this little silver key with the 751 on it okay and then all the all of them have holders like that to hold the doors open you're also ready for park cable some campgrounds have park cable you hook up a, the coax up to here and then you got cable inside this one here next to it is if you got satellite you want to hook up a satellite dish you hook your satellite dish up to here and then your receiver to the other side of the coax by your TV you got a 30 amp shore cord. You're gonna put your dump hose inside of here to store it. You just pull it out, put it back in. You wanna get on top of your roof at least once a year. Check all the seals for cracks on the top around all your vents. Um, if it's cracking, you want to uh, get some rubber roof cleaner, clean it really good, wait till it dries, and seal it up with a rubber roof compound. My key just broke off. <laughs> oh, shitty. That's okay. We can get that out with the pliers. Yeah, go ahead. You can continue okay. on. All right. Sorry about that. We checked all your lights, your brakes, your breakaway safety cable, and all that are all functioning properly. You have two doors on the on here. One's a patio door and just a regular entrance door. Your patio door keys are the two big ones right here. And your entrance door keys are going to be these two right here, the black ones. And they're both the same. Each key will work in the locks. The bottom one's your bolt lock, that's to unlock, that's to lock. Straight up and down, I'll let you pull it out. I'm gonna unlock it so we can go inside. And then you got a door holder. Just make sure you don't rip the door holder off when you guys are camping. Now your steps, you just kind of grab them, pull straight out, flip down, flip down. Your inside's there. Your, uh, this door right here is your screen door. It just pushes in. These are spring loaded, so you can snap it in. They take them out so when they're driving down the road that it doesn't fall out and get broken on you. Right there is the information about your wheel lug nuts right on the side of the trailer. You got your 110 outlet out here. All your tires are nitrogen filled to spec. This is your furnace exhaust here. It's going to be hot coming out the bottom. Don't touch it. Uh, you'll get burnt when it's running. This right here is the fill for your city water or for your portable tank. So all you do is you pop the cap off, put your hose inside here, and then uh, you fill it until it starts spraying out this hole right here. This hose is your overflow hose. As soon as it starts coming out of there, stop filling. You don't want to pressurize that tank too much. This valve right here is the drain for your fresh water tank. And I'm going to drain it so there's less weight on the border and all that. I don't know if that matters, but... They got a piece of wood inside here just as you're going down the road to just keep that closed for you and it's a safety lock. You're going to want to keep that for when uh, 
you guys leave the campground or wherever you park this at, okay? Your awning, all you got to do, it's going to be the same on each one of these arms. Right here, you just leave that one alone. Right here, you squeeze this black tab over like that, this black tab over like that. Then that black knob way up there, on the end, you pull that down. Then you walk over to the other side of the camper, to the other arm, and you release that one. Then you take your awning wand, and you grab the little black pull strap right above the door there from the awning, and you pull your awning all the way out. Then this inner arm right here will just lift this where this knob is. You'll see it. It'll lift out the bottom right here. You'll put it to the top. There's a little groove it sets in on the top when the awning's all the way out. And then you just tighten these out and lift to set your height with these. Okay. Right here, this is your range vent for when your cooktop for your stove. These little tabs right here have to be up when you're going down the road. Otherwise, it'll flap and break. When you get to the campground, put them down. And then remember to put them back up when you guys leave the campground. Well, this is a park model, so I don't know if you're parking it for good. So if you stash it and leave it there, I would close them just so no animals can get inside, okay? Now, this is your suburban water heater. It is a six gallon water heater, okay? It works on gas and electric. Right here, this right here is your drain plug. It's an inch and a sixteenth socket. And then to make sure there's water in here, you just pull that and water comes out, you're okay. You're all set up to go camping right now. Uh, to do it on electric, you actually physically have to come out here, push the button to on. There's another switch inside I'll show you later in the video. That's the other main switch on the inside. You have to have them both on for it to work. When you winterize, you come out here and you turn this one off. So if you accidentally flick that other one on, when the tank is empty, you don't burn out this element, your heating element. Now on the inside, to turn it on on gas, it'll light automatically, just like your furnace and your fridge. There's a switch on your monitor panel. I'll show you where that is also when I go inside, okay? And just to close it, you just put it up like that, and then you pull the tab and twist it and snap it down, okay? If you have any questions about this, feel free to call Hilltop and ask us about it, okay? And I'm Corey. You can ask right for me um, or any of the other techs if it's my day off or something. Uh, they're, they're really good about helping you out, okay? Um, you got light switches for all your lights and stuff. See the lights come on. This outer one, the outer one right here is going to be the porch light on the outside. See it blink on and off. And then this one's going to be for the ceiling. Okay? And then I want to put your slide rooms out. And we're looking for that. We got to put the rooms out. There's the uh, starter kits in your and, box, your hubcaps. The two chop box. Okay. Yeah, where's the slide switch in here? That's what I'm looking for right oh, now. Oh, there's a command center right here. Oh, okay. And then there's one. Um, right where Corey's pushing the button, that's where your slide room control is for your main big slide, which is going out right now. Then turn your water pump on right here. And then here is your battery. It tells you your battery level. We're not plugged in, so we're down a little bit because we're putting a slide out. Fresh tank, I'm draining. Black's empty, and your gray's empty. This is how you turn your water heater on to gas. The light comes on. Once it lights, it'll stay off. All right. And then same with the light switches here. This one's the outside porch light, and then this one's your inside lights. Your LP detectors right here.